hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have square root of 3 plus square root of c is equals to 3 and we solve this problem for the values of c and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now uh, here you see that in the left hand side both of these terms involve square root sign so that our first target is to eliminate this square root sign from both of these terms so for this uh, we move this square root of 3 to the right hand side and it will be written as square root of c is equals to 3 minus square root of 3 and now here in the next step uh, we need to uh, apply the scaling on both of the sides in order to eliminate square root sign so it will be written as square root of c and its whole square is equals to 3 minus square root of 3 and its whole square and now in the next step uh, we need to use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that uh, if we have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b and plus b square so according to this you see here the value of a is 3 and the value of b is square root of 3 so we uh, just <coughs> expand the right hand side by applying this formula so in the left hand side you see here these two and this square root are gone and we will get here c is equals to here after applying this formula uh, our right hand side is written as first you have a square so a is 3 square minus 2 times of a b so here our a is 3 and b is square root of 3 plus b square so b is square root of 3 and its whole square and now in the next step we have this is 3 square and 3 square equals to 9 minus this is 2 times of 3 becomes here 6 times of square root of 3 plus this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here 3 only and now in the next step we have this is 9 plus 3 becomes here 12 minus 6 times of a square root of 3 so uh, you see here uh, this is the value of c uh, and now we need to take common 6 from here we get uh, 6 times of uh, 2 minus square root of 3 so this is the final value of c in this problem and now here in the next step we need to verify this value of c and we check that is this value of c is satisfied our given question statement or not so that uh, for verification we need to copy down given question statement here it is square root of 3 plus square root of c is equals to 3 and now we verify the above values of c here so that uh, we put the value of c in the right hand side of this equation so after substituting the values it will be written as square root of 3 plus this is square root of c and the value of c is 6 times of 2 minus square root of 3 and here we check that is this equals to 3 or not okay so uh, for this uh, we need uh, to uh, take the completing square of inside this square root term so it will be written as square root of 3 plus square root of we multiply 6 on both of these values it will becomes 12 minus 6 times of square root of 3 and here we check that is this equals to 3 or not so further in the next step uh, we uh, we will make completing square of this term so uh, for this here we break the terms as in this form this is 12 we write it as 9 plus 3 and this is 6 we write it as 2 multiplied by 3 and this is our square root of 3 and we check that is this equals to 3 or not so further in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as 
square root of 3 plus square root of this is 9 we write it as 3 square and plus 3 and this is we write this 3 as because we convert these two terms into the square form in order to complete the square so here we can apply the square root and square at the same time of this number because this 2 and this square root are gone and we again get 3 and here you have this is 2 times of 3 into square root of 3 and here we check that is this equals to 3 or not so that uh, here we have this is square root of 3 plus square root of you see here this is a square plus b square minus 2 times of a b so when you uh, complete the square of this term it will be written as 3 minus square root of 3 and its whole square and we check that is this equals to 3 or not and now here further in the next step you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here square root of 3 plus here after cancellation this square and square root we get 3 minus square root of 3 and here we check that is this equals to 3 or not and now here further in the next step you see here this square root of 3 positive term this square root of 3 is negative term these two are cancelled out by each other and we get here 3 is equals to 3 so this shows that the value of c is equals to 6 times of 2 minus square root of 3 is satisfied our given question statement so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos